Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys didn't already know me. And today I'm going to be doing my November favorites. This is going to be a short video just because I don't have that many favorites, even though my last favorites was in July. But I do have some products that I've been really liking over the past couple months, and specifically November. So first off, I wanted to start off with what I'm wearing. This choker is from Forever 21, and I am like loving it. I got it... Mm, I'm gonna say like September, October, or something like that. And I've worn it so much because it's such a statement piece. So I feel like I need a new favorite choker because I've been wearing this like way too much. I asked for a thinner gold choker for my birthday from Ryan and it's just like on its way. I Next, I wanted to show you guys my pop socket. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like this little thing that you can put on the back of your phone or your phone case, which I recommend putting on your phone case because then you like won't ruin your phone. And you just stick it on and then you can like hold your phone like this, like read your tweets like this, go through Instagram like this. And for me, it's really important to have this because I used to take selfies like in a really weird hand position and that's how I would like hold my phone to go through like everything and that would make my hand cramp so bad. So now that I have this pop socket, I've been having less cramps and I know you guys are probably like, okay, you shouldn't be on your phone that much anyways to have cramps, but I really can't help it. So I mean, this is like the best solution for me. It's just so much easier to carry your phone around. You can hold it like this too. And for me, I never put my phone in my pocket or anything. I'm always holding it in my hand. So it's really nice to just carry it around like this, like a ring. They have them in so many different colors. I just found out that there was like a marble with like a gold rim on it. And I don't know if I would have gotten that one because I think black just like kind of goes with my case. And it also smushes down. So if you wanted to put it in your pocket, you can. And it's just a simple but practical gift you can get anyone this holiday season. Next, I wanted to mention my favorite candle at the moment. Drum roll, please. It's the, probably the most basic candle ever during this time, but it's Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body Works. I feel like I haven't gotten any candles from Bath & Body Works in forever because I kind of had this feeling that it was just overhyped and I was kind of over it. And I'm currently obsessing over Volcano Candles and Volusa, I think that's how you say it, because they're gorgeous. They're like mind-blowing packaging and I just want them surrounding my house when I grow up. But for now, the scent of Marshmallow Fireside just sets the tone in my room for this whole season. I mean, I know it's more of like a fall scent, like a marshmallow, you know, bonfire type thing, but I'm just gonna use it throughout the whole winter too because it still kind of like goes with it and it just makes my room smell so cozy. And it's probably a bad thing because all I want to do is like get under my covers and just like snuggle up. So I actually left my Camelback back at home during summer break. So I had to get a new water bottle and I decided to go along the Swell Trend. This is not a Swell bottle, but it's like a knockoff Swell bottle. It has um, capital so like written in cursive and it has like gold lid and it's just really cute and I cannot even believe how long this keeps my drinks cold. I just put water and ice in it and I love ice water like I can't drink room temperature or hot water I just I don't know I just love ice water and I cannot leave the house without bringing my bottle of water. But the one thing I will complain about is that it gets smelly really easily. And if you guys know how to get rid of the smell, please let me know because it's disgusting. I hate screwing off the top. Like I wish there was a bottle that kept your drinks cold and had the straw of a Camelback. I would buy that in a heartbeat. So if you guys know of any of those, let me know in the comments down below because I've been looking everywhere. Next, I wanted to show you guys my new favorite booties. These are from Henry Girl. But the story behind these shoes was I was getting ready to go to Houston for my uncle's wedding and I was putting together all these outfits and I was like, wow, booties would look really cute with all these outfits, but I have no booties. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I just need to go to the closest store, just buy the first pair of booties and just walk out and just like get them already because I bought the ugliest booties ever from this cheap store and I kind of gained trust issues because I thought all booties would be that ugly and like wouldn't go with any outfit. So I just like wanted to get the perfect pair. So I've been looking this whole time and every time I saw like a cute pair, I'd be like, oh, is it worth the money? Is it that cute? Should I get it? But anyway, so I ended up getting these. I walked right into Henry Girl right when they were like almost closing. It was a very impulsive buy, but I love them so, so much. I like how the ankle part is higher because sometimes my pants can be a little short. 
so I want them to go like in the boot. I'm not going to say they're the most comfortable shoes because I haven't broken them in just yet. So in one of my last makeup tutorials where I was kind of testing out L'Oreal products, I used my new foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I really like this foundation. It's super matte. And yes, it kind of feels drying at first. I've learned that you can put a light layer of cream just like wherever you feel dry. And that just gets rid of the feeling right then and there. And if you put the right amount, it won't mess up your foundation or anything. I think the color is a little bit too dark, especially since I'm gonna get pale real soon. Um, but I feel like there's not that much product in this and it was kind of pricey for a drugstore foundation I really do like the formula and this is my first drugstore foundation ever Except for a BB cream, but I don't really count that next I wanted to share with you guys my new favorite lip combo I know I talked about this in one of my last vlogs, but in case some of you don't watch my vlogs I wanted to share it on here as well So this liner is from NYX and it is in the color toast. It's just like a really dark cool toned brown. I die for brown toned lipsticks, lip liners, liquid lipsticks. I just love them. And then this lipstick is the new Lip Tensity from MAC. And first of all, the packaging is everything because it actually matches the lipstick color. I feel like that's what brands struggle with is the packaging, especially when they're doing lipsticks and try to like match the color of the lipstick. I don't know. I feel like I've never seen an exact match except for this. It just like is so spot on it's incredible i honestly wish every mac lipstick had this kind of packaging where it had like the color on the outside because i think it's so beautiful it's so sleek and even though the black containers are sleek as well i just feel like the flat top is something kind of modern so this color is in toast and butter so isn't that funny like the liner's toast and this is toast and butter I thought that was like really weird. <laughs> I am wearing this lip combination right now on my lips, so if you guys like it, then definitely check it out. I think this lipstick is $16 or $17 around that, and then the lip liner was very cheap. I'm not really sure exactly how much, but under $6 for sure. You guys may have seen this coming, but my new favorite highlighter is Beverly Hills from Ofra Cosmetics. This is amazing. I've never had such a pop and highlight in my whole life until I used this. I love this so much and Ofra Cosmetics, if you're watching this, please make just a highlight of this gold shade right here. I am loving that and I kind of just want to use that sometimes. But most of the days I swirl my brush around and just use every color like mixed together and it's so pretty. It's like a rose gold highlight. It's definitely different from my other highlights. So I want to start telling you guys like my new favorite YouTubers and stuff like that, like maybe even Instagrammers when I come across one. The past month, it's been Alexandra Garza and her vlogs, especially with her husband. And even though they don't do that much stuff, I just like to see them like decorate their house. And it just makes me so excited to get married one day and like have my own family and have my own house to decorate. Her style is amazing. So I love looking at her outfits and especially like how her house is decorating because I think they just moved in I'm, I'm not sure I'm like kind of new and I personally like longer vlogs and their vlogs are like you know I think 10 to I don't know 15 minutes so I really like it and lastly my favorite song is call on me and it's the Ryan Ribback remix The links to all these products will be in the description box below. Check these out because you never know your friend or family might love them for Christmas. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!